Okay, good evening all of you. And seeing the recent styling trend of J Advanced Examination, here is the problem for you. Please do like and subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends to get quality content for free. For each real number t, p t is given as a cubic polynomial, and let del t is defined as max of c belongs to R, p t is equal to zero minus min of c belongs to R, p t is equal to zero. The difference between largest and smaller real root of p t x basically. Determine the range of values that del t can assume as t values. In fact, I have made your life easier by mentioning this statement, right? In fact, I should not have mentioned this because the moment I will not mention this, it's more about first understanding the question. So let's take a pause and try to understand what's the meaning of the problem. For each real number t, we define delta t as something. So in this kind of situations, it's always better to fix a particular t and to get a feel of problem. So the best thing that I can do is to put t equals 0 and that gives me p naught x equals x cube minus 12x. Del 0 will be p0c and p0c. So replace t everywhere with 0. Now, can we gain anything? Of course, yes. So p naught x is a polynomial x cube minus 12x and it is having three roots 0, root 12. And minus root 12. Now clearly what is maximum of c belongs to r? p naught c equals 0. It means c cube minus 12c that is p naught c. Okay so if I make p naught c equals 0 it will give three values 0 root 12 and minus root 12. So the first expression tells maximum as c is changing. Okay as c belongs to r p naught equals c the maximum among these three ones. So of course the maximum will be taken as root 12. Second is p naught c equals 0 is giving three values and out of that we have to take minimum which is minus root 12. So the expression del 0 is root 12 minus minus root 12 which is giving me 2 root 12 or 4 root 3. So this is corresponding to t equals 0. In the same way I can find corresponding to t equals 1, t equals 1 by root 2, t equals 20 24 and so on so on. Not fundamentally feasible and possible to check for every value of t. So instead what I'll do is we'll try to investigate the function first. Let's call this f and it's not very difficult because roots are clearly 0, root 12 and minus root 12. Moreover this function f is an odd function. So if I know the graph in positive half we know the graph in negative half. So if I call this f of x from the very behavior of the function f of minus x is f of x. So f is odd. Keeping this in mind, even we can differentiate this so 3x square minus 12, which gives me two critical point as plus minus 2. So now armed with this idea, we can go further. With two critical point plus minus 2, we know the graph will look something like this because for cubic x cube minus 12 x as x tends to infinity x cube will grow very high so it has go to infinity for odd functions behavior it will be symmetric about zero and we know this critical point is 2 and minus 2 so x equals minus 2 and x equals plus 2 is a critical point now it's completely what to find the output of these functions and if we put x equals 2 in x cube minus 12 x we are getting this height to be minus 16 from symmetricity at minus 2 will get plus 16. Okay, so now I can write this expression as x cube minus 12 x equals minus t. So for particular t, we need the number of point of intersection of this curve with minus t. Now minus t is anyway is a real number because if t is real minus t is real. So minus t can take a value of let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, pi, e or anything. Now you can clearly see since minus t will be a constant values depending upon values of t. So the number of point of intersection with the given curve will be either 1, 2 or 3. Okay. Now a very simple analysis tell as long as value of minus t is more than 16, more than this height. So if minus t is more than 16 or if minus t is less than minus 16. So under this case, the number of point of intersection, the number of real root of this expression ptx is going to be exactly 1. 
it means as long as t is more than 16 or t is less than minus 16 we'll have exactly one real root it means two other real root must be conjugate pair and they'll be complex sorry minus two comma minus two so at t equals 16 we have repeated root minus two comma minus two and other root is some alpha and it's not very hard to find alpha because we know for x cube minus 12 x equals 16 if this is the height we have repeated root 2 comma 2 and if other root is alpha product of root is going to be minus dy which is 16 so alpha is directly 4 so in this situation i know what is this length okay the difference between largest root and the smallest root so largest root corresponding to this value is going to be 4 alpha equals 4 and the smallest root is minus 2 which is repeated so the length so the value of pt x so the value of del t right for del of 16 the length of interval that i am going to get is 6 so i hope this is clear let's move to the second case when we have any point lying between these three intervals okay so in this case we need to find the length of interval from this value to this let me draw the diagram Okay, so now if I take any case when we have got three roots, let's say alpha, beta, gamma. Under these conditions, we need to find the gap between alpha minus gamma. Because alpha minus gamma gap will change as we have seen clearly. If any value of t is more than 16, in this case, like if it is above this, in fact, this is minus t. So minus t equals 16 corresponds to t equals minus 16 over here. Anyway, as long as you are above this, the maximum and minimum root becomes same okay so for all, all these values delta t is going to be zero similarly if you are below this values below this minus 16 level the maximum and minimum root is same because we have only one real root so delta t is still zero at the tip at the tip point we have calculated value of delta t so for delta equals minus 16 you tell that is going to be six Similarly, for below point by symmetricity, I can tell delta 16 is also 6. Now, the problem is how I am sure like the functions will continuously increase or decrease, like the gap between alpha and delta, the gap between least root and the maximum root is going to change. So, how it's going to change? Can we directly tell, like, let's say if I calculate delta 0, so that calculation I have made, it's 2 root 12, which is giving basically 4 root 3. So, am I sure the you know the maximum value is going to be 4 root 3 or minimum is 6 or between 4 root 3 and 6 also maybe this gapping can be maximized so one very weak uh, reasoning that you can give is i can directly tell the answer is you know 4 root 3 to 6 uh, just by looking at a diagram if you try to guess the answers now of course union zero but now is this claim true is this claim true so that is a uh, major confusion that we might have because we, still we are not sure how the gapping between roots varies as t is belonging to minus 16 to plus 16 okay so to conclude this claim in a very rigorous manner what we can do is since we know for any value of t let's say if i consider this expression we'll have three roots let's say this is u b and w now one thing is sure b is always lying between b is always lying between minus 2 to plus 2 okay that is obvious because at 2 we are getting negative value at minus 2 we are getting positive value so there will be a root between minus 2 to plus 2 so the only restrictions we know is b is dancing from minus 2 to plus 2 in fact b can even attain this value right and what about the list value let's say u is list and v is max because i can always order three real numbers in this way right so the final relation that we got is b is dancing from minus to root 2 because of continuity theorem and it must be less than 2 so using this basic information what i can do is now we'll use beta's formula so we know since sum of root is equal to 0 and product of root ub plus bw plus uw equals minus 12 
like for the left hand cubic i'm trying to investigate right so from here we get from first equation u plus b is minus b and uw is going to be minus 12 minus b into u plus w right and that gives me the uh, uv values will be b a square minus 2 and what we want is delta t so delta t is the difference between the, the smallest and largest root so that's nothing but w minus u whole square which can be translated to a plus b whole square minus 4 a b and plugging this value what i get is b a square minus 4 times b a square minus 2 which shows we have 48 minus 3b square i delta t so you see depending upon the values of t we have converted the function of t just into a function of a small root where v itself is a function of t right so v itself is dependent on what value of t we are getting because depending upon t the value of b will change clear okay fine so Using these two relation, what we can see is because from this relation I have got the vitas u plus b plus w zero sum of root and sum product taken two at a time. I have not used u v t because you know like u v t will be minus t, so that itself is dependent on t. Now since b can continuously pick up any values between minus two to two because I can make t change, so b can assume any value between minus two to two. So just I need to find the range of these functions. So this is quite easy functions because you know it's uh, parabolic nature and as b is dancing from minus to 2 this quantity will dance from 36 to 48 and hence it's no wonder that delta t is dancing from 6 to 4 root 3 but uh, still this is not the exhaustive solutions of the answers so it will include 0 okay because 0 will happen whenever t is more than 16 or t is less than minus 16 so 4 mod t less than 16 I hope you have enjoyed the problem and moreover understood the physics behind this mathematics. Uh, the idea of this problem came to me because a similar problem, of course, easier than this, was asked in J Advanced 2020. So if J were to ask a good problem from application of derivative, moreover, targeting the comprehension of the problem 